Hi, welcome to Augustana University. My name is Caleb Timmerman. And I'm Keely Meyer. And we're going to take you on a virtual tour of the first year residence halls. So I'm here in a typical room in Solberg and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the layout of the room. The room comes with two beds, two dressers, two desks, two desk chairs, uh, two wardrobes, and then also a lovely window with some curtains attached. Um, you can see a layout of the room on the Augustana website. And additionally, if you would like to loft your bed, you can. You can purchase a loft through College Products. And you can absolutely decorate your room, um, but we ask that you do not use any nails in the wall, so make sure you bring lots of command strips or tape. And then additionally, we also ask that you do not bring any extension cords, so make sure to plan accordingly. Some other features of Solberg Hall is that this residence hall is for first year students only, meaning that there are no upperclassmen living in this building. Additionally, while Solberg Hall is a co-ed building, each floor is divided into two wings and each wing is single gendered, meaning there are men's wings and women's wings, um, but the wings are not co-ed. Additionally, in Solberg, we have a large rec room in the basement that has many couches and chairs and tables for you to go down there and study with your friends or play games. Additionally, in the basement, we have the campus clinic, which is open to all Augustana students. So if you are to get sick or injured while you're here at Augie, you can go there and they will help you out. Additionally, in the basement, we also have our laundry room. Um, and the laundry is coin free, meaning that you don't have to bring your money every time you go down there to do your laundry. Solberg also has two community kitchens, which you can use to cook in. And we also have lounges like this, or we call them day rooms on each floor, which you can use to study in or do your homework. I'm in a traditional Berg soccer room. The layout of the room follows a traditional dorm setup in which the room can be divided into half and each student can take either side. This room comes furnished with a micro chill that the students can share and a dresser, closet, desk, desk chair, and curtains that are available to both students. If a student wishes to rent a loft, that can be done through college products. If a student also wishes to carpet their room, the dimensions for the rooms can be found on Augustana's website. Berg Soccer Hall is a residence hall exclusively for first year students. There are four floors, each being divided into two wings. Each wing houses a single gender. In the basement, there is the laundry, and this is free for student use. Going up one floor to the ground floor, there is a rec room, which is great for hanging out with friends, doing homework, and there's also a pool table. There is also a community kitchen where you can cook, clean your dishes, or store food in the refrigerator. Each floor has a day room, and on floors two, three, and four, there's a balcony. Now I'm in a typical tube room. These rooms feature the newest furniture on campus. These include dressers, desks, chairs, shelving in the closets, carpet, curtains, a micro chill the students can share, and adjustable beds. Since these beds are adjustable, there's no need to rent a loft. Additional features of Tuve include a kitchen and rec room in the basement, a kitchen and lounge on the first floor, and laundry rooms and day rooms on each floor. Tuve is the only residential hall open to all grade levels. The first floor is a gender inclusive floor, and the second and third are co-ed. The LGBT HQ is located on the first floor of Tuve and is a programming space that can be utilized by GSA or any other student organization on campus. When you live in the residence halls, there will be resident advisors, which we call Viking advisors, on each wing. These Viking advisors, or VAs, are sophomore, junior, or senior Augustana students who will live on the floor with you to ensure your safety and build community. Hi, I'm Michelle Lysak. I'm the Associate Director of Campus Life for Housing Operations. So I work with all of our on-campus housing communities. I'm gonna talk about a couple of pieces of general information about the residence halls that you'll need to know before you move in. Uh, the first thing to note is none of our first year residence halls have air conditioning, so it's a really good idea to bring a fan with you when you move in. Um, the second thing to know is that uh, the residence halls also don't have elevators, so when you're packing for move-in day, uh, make sure that your boxes are lighter. It'll be easier to carry into your room. Other things to know, the residence halls are locked 24 seven, so you'll need your student ID to swipe into your community. Uh, please don't bring any pets with you. Uh, the only pets we allow are fish, um, but your dogs and cats need to stay at home. Uh, the last thing is that laundry is available in every building and it is free of charge to use the washers and dryers. So no need to bring quarters. Um, you can do your laundry for free. I'm gonna talk about a few important dates for you to know before you move in. 
The first date is July 1st. That is when your room assignment will go live on the student portal and also on residence. Um, you'll be able to see what room you'll be in and also who your roommate is. Also on July 1st, that is the first day you can request a parking pass. So if you are bringing a car to campus, you will want to put in your parking pass request through your student portal. July 31st is the second important date um, that you'll want to keep in mind. That is the last day for you to rent a loft and get early bird pricing. So if you're assigned to live in Bergsocker or Solberg Halls and you want a lofted bed um, and you want to get the early bird pricing, July 31st is the last date to do that. We are so glad that you're here to join our Aggie community and we look forward to seeing you in the fall.